So 8.1, um, 8.1 says in the definition of the emf of inventory given below um a and b represent missing words or phrases um and then we're supposed to fill those phrases so that's just the definition of emf uh, the emf of a battery is the maximum electric energy uh, supplied by a battery per unit charge uh, passing through it so yeah this question is just asking you for the definition uh, let's move ahead um we have 8.2 uh okay uh, it says that with switch s uh close uh, the voltmeter is uh 2.63 v so we have uh so we have v uh equals to 2.63 and then uh, the first question says calculate the external um resistance of the circuit um if that uh if that switch is closed then uh, both uh, the all the resistors in the in the diagram are playing part right and uh, the 4 ohm the 3 ohm and the 7 ohm uh, but then the trick is that um the 4 and the 3 are in parallel with the 7 but then the 4 and 3 are in series with each other so what you are going to do is to calculate uh, the sum of uh, the this resistance here right and then after we do that we will then calculate uh, the resistance uh, that is due because of these two parallel uh, resistors so that is a resistor in series uh, will be the 4 ohm uh, plus the 3 ohm uh, which will just give you um, 7 ohm and then then we can have um, the resistance in parallel right so in parallel we have 1 divided by rp uh, equals to 1 divided by uh, resistor 1 uh, plus 1 divided by uh, resistor 2 blah 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 until resistor n if yeah if we had another resistor here we're going to have uh, plus one divided by resistor three so uh, what is uh, resistor one resistor one is the resistance uh, that is in series on this line here right uh, the four and the three so that is one divided by seven and then resistor two uh, resistor two is what we have here uh, when the switch s is closed which is seven so that will be one divided by seven so to solve this you just uh, flip you just add the two uh, one divided by seven plus one divided by seven and then you flip so that will be one divided by resistors in parallel equals to uh keep the same base uh, keep the same denominator and then add the numerators and then if you flip you get rp divided by one equals to uh seven divided by two which is just three comma five um ohm uh, so the external uh, resistance of this circuit is uh, 7, 7, uh, it's 3.5 ohm. Uh, if uh, this circuit is, oh, uh, if this uh, this switch here is open and it's not closed, uh, then the resistance was just going to be uh, the sum of these two uh, resistors here. Um, let's move ahead. 8.3. Uh, 8.3, uh, we start with some information. Uh, when the switch S is opened, uh, we have V equals to 8, uh, <laughs> what am I saying? Equals to 2.8, uh, volts and then 8.3.1. So, um, when the switch is closed, um, okay, so the switch is closed, uh, we know that, uh, the voltmeter reading it's 2.63 uh, volts and then the the what uh, we know that v equals to i uh, multiplied by r uh, we know that the resistance uh, when it's closed is uh, 3.5 uh, ohms right and then uh, from this we can write uh, v equals to i uh, multiplied by r okay at uh, this first step uh, we're trying to extract uh, the current right and then after we extract the current uh, we'll see if we're able to find the internal resistance and then if we can't then uh, we'll look for other ways we can do that but let's start 
from here. Uh, so the V is 2.63, like I've said, and then I is our unknown, and then our internal resistance is 3.5 uh, ohms, right? And then if you uh, divide both sides by uh, 3.5, uh, we get I equals to um, 2.63 divided by 3.5. Uh, that gives us a uh, 0 0.75 um, Yeah, there we have it. Uh, if you want to calculate um, The only formula in our curriculum uh, that includes uh, internal resistance is E uh, equals to I multiplied by R uh, plus R and then another way of writing this formula is E equals to uh, v external plus i multiplied by r so let's go ahead and substitute it into, into this equation because this is the only equation that has internal resistance as a variable yeah but then we don't know the emf so that is just going to be e equals to um, we know uh, v external uh, when the circuit uh, is is closed right it is given as two point uh, 63 and then i we just calculated it that's 0 0.75 and then we have r so okay let's let me just highlight that there so you can see here that um we we have one equation and then we have two variables so common sense tells you that we have to find another equation so that we have two equations two variables and then we can solve simultaneously so here we looked at the case where uh, the switch is closed uh, to extract another equation so to say we can look at the case where the switch is open so when the switch is open uh, the voltmeter reading uh, is said to be 2.8 uh, volts and then the current um, I uh, is unknown and then uh, the resistance is uh, 7 right yeah, like I said above that if you open the switch then at the resistance you just add uh, the 4 ohm resistor and the uh, 3 ohm resistor there's the 4 ohm resistor there so um, again let's do what we did there V equals to A I multiplied by R uh, so I equals to V uh, divided by R R we say that is uh, V we say that is 2.8 and then R is 7, right? Here, the resistance. So that's 2.8 divided by 7. Uh, that gives me uh, 0 0.4 ohm. So now we know that uh, we jump into this equation. I equals to uh, V external uh, plus I R. And then from here, we don't know what the EMF is. Uh, v external, we know the reading is 2.8. And then I is 0 0.4. And then R is our unknown. Uh, but then in this case, uh, we have a second equation and then uh, we have two variables. So what we can do, uh, we can just say, uh, okay, let's name this E1 and then let's say name this E2. Oh, E2. <laughs> so we can just say E1 uh, equals to E2 because uh, this is the EMF of the same circuit, right? And then that is uh, E1 is 2. Uh, 0.63 um, plus 0.75 R uh, which is equals to 2.8 uh, plus 0.4 R um, okay let's uh, take uh, 2.63 to the right hand side and then we take uh, 0.4 R to the left hand side so that will give you 0 0.7 oh let me change the color of the pen uh 0 0.7 r minus 0 0.4 r equals to 2.8 uh, minus 2.63 so 0 0.75 uh minus 0 0.4 uh that is 0 0.35 uh, which is equals to 2.8 uh, minus 2.63 uh that is uh, we have R here, uh, that is 0 0.17. Um, and then let me divide both sides by uh, 0 0.35. 0 0.17 divided by 0 
uh, that gives me r equals to 0 0.4 uh 85 so that will just be uh 0.49 um ohms 8.3.2 uh, says calculate the emf uh we know that uh, the internal resistance is equal to 0 0.49 ohms right uh, we just calculated it and then now we have uh, two equations for emf so you just pick one and then you substitute uh, the internal resistance and you get uh, the EMF. So the first equation says uh, 2.63 uh, plus 0 0.75 R. Uh, so that, that will be 2.63 uh, plus 0 0.75 uh, multiplied by 0 0.49. Uh, let me see what I get. Yeah, and uh, what I get is uh, right about 3 volts. Uh, so what I want you to do uh, is to take uh, the second equation and substitute uh, 0 0.49 and see if you get the same thing.